Are, are you a fan of Tom Waits? Yeah, of course. Uh, Tom Waits, when he was younger, had his, his is a song called Martha. But there's a bunch of songs he's written when he was young. It's like, how does a young man have that like melancholy wisdom? <laughs> the song Martha is about uh, an older man calling a woman he used to love that she's now married and he's married. And they're having that conversation. They haven't spoken for 30 years. And they realize that there's still love there. And it could have been a different life, a different world where they could have been together. And here's like a 23-year-old Tom Waits writing so beautifully about something that's very... Uh, I've had a lot of people like tell me how real that, uh, as an older person, looking back at that love that you had and realizing it wasn't... It was really... It's still there. Inklings of that love are still there. I think there's a... Um... When a young person writes a sad song, they almost seem more willing to go to a more hopeless place because <laughs> yeah. they have they have a so long journey time. ahead. <laughs> yeah, and older artists tend to want to look at the bright side of things, <laughs> which which also I think comes from the wisdom of aging. It's yeah. it's a more realistic position, so it's not uncommon for younger people to write. I think even in the Beatles, you'll see like they're very heavy lyrics, um, middle to late era Beatles, which is still, you know, they're in their twenty, you know, early twenties, I guess. Wow. That's hard to think about so much accomplished. Unbelievable. And they, they went through the full, full journey from fun to darkness <laughs> in, yeah. in a span of a few years. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned lyrics. Um, so you've obviously produced albums with incredible lyrics. I think you've mentioned uh, the interesting characteristics of hip hop, of rap, is that you're writing poetry to rhythm versus writing poetry to melody. So that's like one way to think about it. Yeah. And I'm a fan, I mean, Tom Waits, Leonard Cohen, I'm a fan of poetry, period. Yeah. Uh, is there something um, about highlighting the poetry of it, the power of words as you did with with Hurt. If, uh, like, if I have to put it, it's one, uh, a Tom Waits song that's like less than a minute long that I always go back to. It's one I really love. It has just a few lines. It's called, I Want You. And all it is is him saying, I want you. This is a 22-year-old Tom Waits. All I want is you, you, you. All I want is you. Give you stars above, sun on the brightest day. hums for 20 more seconds <laughs> yeah beautiful so so some man that young man like low and but for people who don't know tom waits you should uh, definitely listen to him and his voice sounds very different now and it's interesting to see the evolution of a human voice the the artist over time because that's a young like boy-like voice hopeful less clever less witty more simple that simplicity is there and he's not I mean, that takes guts to be so simple, I would say, yeah, lyrically and uh, musically. 